Welcome everybody. Today we're going to show you the best settings to optimize your NVIDIA graphics card for esports titles. Let's get right into it. All right, so step one is open up your browser, Google GeForce Experience. Once that's come up, download it, install it. Once that's installed, open it up, select the drivers tab, check for updates for your latest driver, and download that one. Once it's downloaded, you have the option to install it. Click install. And once that's done, you'll have the latest NVIDIA drivers. That's step one. Once it's all installed, right click on your desktop. Click on the NVIDIA control panel. I'm going to go through a few settings here, starting with the manage 3D settings. In this first uh, list here, we're going to go through and select a few of the options here. Number one. Head to DSR factors, click on that one and uncheck everything you see in this list that will cause it to turn off. What this will do is only show your native resolution in game and won't give you the option to upscale anything, but this is all right. This is what you want. Next option is low latency mode. Hit the drop down list. Usually it's off, select ultra. And the last option here is under power management mode. This is normally set to normal. Hit the drop down list and click on prefer maximum performance. Hit the apply button if you see it down here and we'll go to the next step. All right, so the next step is gonna be under display. Select change resolution. Here you wanna select your primary monitor. Under resolution, under PC, select your native resolution. For me, I've got 1920 by 1080. Now, on the right hand side, this is important, hit the drop down list and find the highest refresh rate that your monitor supports. Select that, hit apply, and say yes. Now, if your monitor has a G Sync module or is G Sync compatible, you'll see the setup G Sync option on the left. Click that one. You want to select your primary monitor. Now, enable. G-Sync and G-Sync compatible, hit that checkbox and make sure you turn on enable windowed and full screen mode. This will let G-Sync operate uh, when you've got something running in windowed mode or in full screen. Full screen is always better. Then if you have an apply button down the bottom, hit apply, hit OK. Now onto the games. Alrighty everybody, we're in Overwatch now, Overwatch 2. Let's hit escape, go to our options. Now, under video, let's go through our settings. You always want to run full screen. Next, select the monitor you're using. Then, under resolution, select your native resolution and your maximum refresh rate. As you can see here in Overwatch, I can pick the native resolution, but then a variety of refresh rates. You always want to run your highest refresh rate that we adjusted in the settings initially. Next, 16 by nine, field of view 103, dynamic resolution scaling, turn that off. <clears throat> Set your render scale to 100%, so that will match your native resolution. Now under frame rate, select custom, and then this is where you wanna set your maximum frame rate cap to match your refresh rate that we set up earlier. So here we're running a 240 Hertz refresh rate monitor. We're giving ourselves a 10 frame buffer. So we're setting ourselves a 250 frame cap. Now, if you're running a 60 Hertz monitor, set this to 70. If you're running a 120 Hertz monitor, set this to 130 and so on and so forth. Always give yourself a 10 frame buffer, then you will be golden. If you're running a non G Sync compatible monitor, then you're probably running a 60 or 70 Hertz monitor. You can turn on V Sync. V Sync will help with your screen tearing. With G Sync, um, that takes care of all the screen tearing issues. So that's where we don't use that function. Now, we can turn off triple buffering, reduce buffering. This is the key here, NVIDIA Reflex. Hit the drop down list, 
Go all the way down to enabled plus boost. The reason you want the boost function is what that's going to do is cause your graphics card always to be at its highest clock speed, never dipping. So you always got the maximum performance to hit those frames. So if you're running 60 frames, you're always going to be able to hit 60 frames. 240 or 250, you'll always be able to hit those 250 frames because the graphics card doesn't dip, doesn't lower its clock speed. You're always at its maximum. Now under graphic settings, this is where you want to play with your mix of high, ultra, medium, low, depending on your graphics card. I'm running a 3090, so I can run everything at maximum and still hit my 250 FPS cap that we just set. So uh, if you're running a 60 hertz uh, monitor and capping at 60, adjust these settings depending on your graphics card to hit 60. If you're running 120, adjust these settings depending on what you are running. So you can hit those 120, 240, 300 FPS caps so that uh, you can actually make use of your high refresh rate monitor. And under details, this is personal preference. I like to turn on showed performance stats, show my FPS, show my GPU temperature, just because I'm a nerd like that, show network latency, and turn on the clock. And there you have it guys. I hope this video helped you. If it did, give us a thumbs up down below. If there are any tips and tricks that you have that I missed or didn't cover, put them in the comments section down below. I'd love to read them. We also stream live on Twitch at twitch.tv slash siliconart. We play a lot of eSports titles like Valorant, Apex, Overwatch, as well as many other titles. Um, hit subscribe and uh, stay tuned for more awesome videos like this one. See ya.